Noelle. Noelle is 33 years old and has lupus. She and her partner want to get pregnant, so she made an appointment with her rheumatologist to talk about how she needs to manage lupus in order to have a safe and healthy pregnancy. Hi, Noelle. So great to see you. I hear that you would like to become pregnant in the next year. Is that correct? Yes. My partner and I want to have a baby soon. I feel pretty good, but I'm really worried about how lupus could impact my chances. I read so many scary things online about women with lupus not being able to get pregnant or having problems during pregnancy. Are there ways to have a safe and successful pregnancy? Thank you for sharing your concerns with me. The good news is that having a plan will improve your chances of having a successful pregnancy. So I am glad we are talking about this. There are a couple of key points for us to discuss. Keeping lupus well controlled during pregnancy is important, both for yours and the baby's health. In general, well control means that you haven't had a flare on pregnancy safe medications for at least six months. We also want to think about any other medical issues, high blood pressure, kidney disease, diabetes, antiphospholipid syndrome, to name a few, and how they might impact a pregnancy. If the lupus is well controlled prior to getting pregnant, you will be less likely to have pregnancy complications or disease flares during pregnancy. What about my medications? Are they safe for pregnancy? All right, so I see that you are still taking your hydroxychloroquine and mycophenolate. I recommend staying on the hydroxychloroquine. The drug is safe and may potentially decrease the risk for lupus flares and blood clots during pregnancy. It also may decrease the risk of your baby having a condition called neonatal lupus. However, mycophenolate is not safe in pregnancy. We should transition you to another medication that is safe for pregnancy and the baby, such as azathioprine. It will also be important for you to take low-dose aspirin, which is 81 milligrams, and prenatal vitamins. We will monitor for any lupus flares during that transition. Let's think about your timeline and what that might mean for you. Have you talked with your other health care providers about your desires to get pregnant soon? Having a team of medical providers will be helpful during this journey, as you will likely be seeing me, a rheumatologist, an OBGYN with expertise in lupus pregnancies, and because you have a history of kidney disease, a nephrologist. I've mentioned it but haven't talked with them in a lot of detail. Do they know about the pregnancy-safe lupus medications and that I should wait until six months without a lupus flare? Is there information I can send them? Great question. The American College of Rheumatology published Reproductive Health Guidelines in 2020. They're available online for free and outline recommendations for medications and everything we are talking about. They also provide guidance on what lab tests are important. This all sounds good. I still can't help but worry. What if I have trouble? And what if this just doesn't work out for me? I have good support at home from my family and friends, but what if I can't get pregnant? I understand your concern. If we get to a point where you are having difficulty getting pregnant, there are other options. In vitro fertilization, surrogacy, and adoption are options you may wish to explore. Okay, that makes me feel better. So, it has been a couple of months since I've had a flare, which is good. It sounds like my next steps are make sure my doctors know I'm planning for pregnancy and tell them about the ACR Reproductive Health Guidelines, review my medication and over-the-counter vitamins and supplements list, and transition to medications that are safe for pregnancy and safe for the baby. Be sure lupus is as well-controlled as possible on this new medication, azathioprine, for at least six months, then try to get pregnant. Yes, those are your next steps. And please call me at any time if you have a question or a new symptom. If you are currently pregnant and were not able to plan in advance, it's not too late. Speak with your rheumatologist and OBGYN now about next steps so you can have the best chance of a safe and healthy pregnancy.